Okay, this is uh, Flowers in Motion. Uh, the score is, uh, again, displayed in C. Makes for easy reading. Um, I've, uh, I've made the uh, score size a little bit smaller here just so you can see a little bit more of the score. Um, you can see there is some additional parts. You know, I always put the uh, violin section on the bottom. Uh, I sometimes use a non-standard uh, score setup, but for the most part, uh, I will use uh, standard placements. Okay, let me show you the setup here in VST. Okay, uh, once again, we're using the uh, GPO-4. You know, obviously there are better sounding, uh, better performing sample libraries, you know, out there. But, um, you know, in reality, you know, for those of you guys on a budget and uh, you really want to get a good representation of your writing rather than just sound production, uh, writing and sound, you know, they go together, of course, you know, but there, there's definitely a difference between sound production even great film scoring can be almost exclusively sound production. Uh, you know, um, I'm not I'm not slamming him, but you know, guys like Zimmer. I mean, he really does sound production as opposed to music scoring. Uh, whereas a guy like um, um, Williams, he he he's a composer. He's he's utilizing. Uh, classic approaches to uh, orchestral, uh, you know, instrumentation, uh, wonderful emotional um, uh, controls, you know, utilizing uh, rhythmic, uh, you know, content. I mean, he really is a composer in the musical context. So, uh, you know, hopefully you'll see that what I'm doing is composing and uh, utilizing tools and uh, something like GPO-4 as a sample set you know, is adequate for that purpose. Okay, anyhow, so here's the setup. I think there's a room on here. There is, there's a film score space, which is actually a nice sounding room. Uh, let me take, uh, oh, that's already at 90. This should be fine. Okay, this is a nice piece, uh, kind of relaxing in a way, and it's been used a couple of times by, um, uh, for different purposes, etc. cetera. Uh, let me put this down. This is on my CD, uh, Mary or the Otherwise Idle Hour. This section could be effective also on classical guitar. I happen to play classical guitar, but um, I don't often use it. A little Viennese, uh, you know, effect, uh, you know, with the short two and three. Little French horn chords in the back make it nice, richens it up. Now here we have somewhat of a, you know, a solo uh, counter melody. That could be explored a great deal. I, I didn't do that. I mean, the piece is only a couple minutes long. But you could take something like that, divide it up, uh, you know, harmonize it. You know, there's lots of things you can do. You know, and though this isn't a big orchestra, I mean, the sound does get pretty big. Restatement of the uh, solo theme, this time using piccolo trumpet.
sorry about that. I intended to have the finet um, be uh, you know five or so bars back. That extra cue that was put in was uh, for some other uh, utilization, and I didn't intend that to play. But nonetheless, you got to hear it anyhow. Okay, this uh, this particular score is on my website, uh, MiriamMusic.com. So uh, if you get the finale version, it'll load up entirely. You know, just like you saw it here, you'll have complete control over it, and you can manipulate it. You think you can write it better? Write it better. You know, I, I'm just saying it's a great starting point. It's a study. It's a way to uh, utilize uh, your eyes and ears uh, in a workaday uh, environment and uh, get some value out of it. Okay, thanks for watching.